Love is not like giving anything that the, the son or daughter want, but love is to do things good for him and tell him all the good things that he should follow. Please watch on to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Pengak sama ring pamiar sesane ngelangunin Tidang wiwik suryani Saking dan pasar Ring Indonesia sane ngangubin Pinake kepulauan pinih ageng ring gumini Indonesia medruwe pitulas tali limang atus kudus pulau Sane megenah saking benua Asia lan Australia. Pinake kepulauan Sane Makeh medruwe base-base, Indonesia mekueh wargane nomor papat di gumine. Keiderin antuk siwanuse lan wenten langkung ulung dasa tali kilometer sisin pasih, segare tropis Indonesia Sane anget taler akeh Medruwe sarwe kumatap gumitip Lan mekudang-kudang ekosistem Minekadi, wawengkon sisen pasih Kegumuk bias, sawan, alas bakau, kang Sasahan bulung, sasahan nyanyat pasih Bataran mebet puras, bentangan ganggeng Miwah ekosistem nuse cenek Santukan makeh medruwe nuse, nenten kegiat yening ring Indonesia, wenten kirang langkung telung atus tempekan adat, sane medruwe dreste soang-soang, sane becek lan luhur, sane nyarengin ring kebudayaan modern Indonesia sane dinamis. Maha Guru Jinghai, medruwe welas asik, sane ageng ring rakyat Indonesia, Lan sampun medarma wecana ring negara luhur puniki. Dawak warsa duang tali 14, ide mesuale patre ring mustika yang Joko Widodo, mica yang selamat nyangre dados presiden Indonesia. Ide nyinep suale patre nyana ring mustika yang antuk, ngeras titiang sane utama, Dumogi suargan micayang kerahayuan ring ragane lan rakyat Indonesia sane welas asih. Angayu bagia presiden ngepah akide antuk Indonesia sane mikat manah irage sami. Dumogi pemargine setate setinur sekayang-kayang. Melangkungin tigang dasa warsa, Maha Guru Ching Hai, Sampun nginarin jagat iragene, Antuk widi tatwa idene. Pinaka guru tercerahkan sempurna, Ida Maha Guru ngajahang metode kuan yin, Reng sane jakti mekayunan, Ngemanggihin kesujatian, Reng iragene, Mangde ngemolihang pelepasan utawi moksa, Wantah keuripan sane apisan, 
Nanten malen numites kemerce pada. Metode Kuan Yin sampun kemargiang sarang ide para guru sanewikan Minekadi, Buddha, Yesus Kristus, Nabi Muhammad ide Sate Santi, lan guru Nana. Ide mapi teket yang irage eling ring ide sang yang widiwase, ngaturang ayahan tanpa pamrih ring jagate, utawi ngiringan karma buana agung, irage pasti ke ngemanggihin ke utaman, dados manusia, lan uning ring kesujatian irage mengurip ring jagate. Maha Guru Ching Hai, patut dados tetuladan itu sana pilih utama, ring jagate ke angin contoh ulas asih, Sani stata mepai cewan tuan arta lan berana talar ulas asih ring para pengungsi tuna wisma keberbahan gumi miwah wan tuan sani tiosan. Ring warsa kalih tali enam ide boleh penghargaan gusi perdamaian sani kepada yang ring penghargaan Nobel perdamaian saking benua kangen lan saking uni sampun ke aturan makeh penghargaan sani tiosan. Lan puja puji indek pemargin olas asih ide sani ma utama. Sabda kepatutan majang ring semeton beburon sani luih, ide ngewedaran rayunan ulas asih, mawit saking tetumbuhan sahe nyempeneyang, manusia sami eling ring angge, antuk kesucian sami keuripan, ngemargiang vegan utawi haimsa, sani tentrem lan luhur mangde beburon lan irage sami, Iduk rahayu bagi nganti riwekas. Pekarsan ide ngewedaran vegan, nganggen makeh pemargi minekadi, nganggen suale patre cara hidup alternatif, jaringan restoran vegan internasional mewasta loving heart, supreme master television, talar terpti mewecana ring pemerintah sani kuasa, lan pemimpin media talar nyarengin konferensi televisi, indek perubahan iklim, Sane seuningin utawi nengten. Winaya ide sampun medruwe pikenoh ageng, ring kesadaran global indek pula pali hidup sane si, ring beburon talar sapunapi winaya irage, mangde preside jagate state santi, lan ajak sarang semeton dure negara, sarang nyelamatin planet iragene, Saking perubahan iklim. Saking uni, Maha Guru Ching Hai sampun ngelunganin dure negara. Saking Amerika nyantos Afrika, saking Eropa nyantos Oceania, lan ngewentenang satusan dan mewecana ring semeton sinamian, lan pare sisian idene indik ketatuan. Iraga ngemulihang peswecan ide mesidayang mangkin, Nedunang Dharma Wecana Sane Mewasta Nenten Jesuong Yane Ngeraga Kanda Kalih Saking Enam Kanda Ring Acara Sarang Nabi Lan Pare Sisya Pacang Ke Enter Ring Bahasa Inggris Dawak Duang Dasa Dua Maret Kalih Tali Roras Ring Perancis Ah, there's another thing Also about taxi driver All my people are taxi driver I have I have no prince story to tell you, princess or anything like that. Very uh, interesting. I I went with the taxi driver, another taxi driver. Yeah, before the 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 taxi driver that I told you yesterday, there was another taxi driver, and uh, I went regular. Yeah, with him, uh, not daily, but often. And then he's also very kind. And help me with grocery whenever I need. And all. he go inside even, and tell me also this is what 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 you know. I tell, ask him to read. Sometimes I don't bring the glass. Read the ingredients for me, and he does all that very nicely. And but he has one trouble. He 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 smokes. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that because normally they don't smoke in the car. They wait until the customer not there. They go out smoke. You see, yeah, outside. I know. One day I caught him smoke because I just came out too early. <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> oh, you smoking? I said, oh yeah, just, uh, you know, <laughs> very little. I say, how little? I asked him, how little? I say, well, maybe 
half package, three quarter package. I said, why don't you finish the whole package? <laughs> Kill yourself earlier, man. <laughs> why die slow? <laughs> die quick. <laughs> I'm just joking with him. <laughs> I was in Spain at that time. Mm. So now, okay, we are going that way. And uh, I don't know, we should get talking, you know? Yeah, you're talking and... Uh, I told you when I'm out, I talk, you know, and just nonsense, like everybody else. If you see me then, uh, you surely think I'm pretty normal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then uh, he say that he, he's divorced, yeah? His wife is with another man now, and he's with his son. And he has a girlfriend who comes to him, you know, like they come, not every day, but they don't stay together, they just see each other. So it's okay, everything's fine. And then... Uh, but he sent his son to, to college and all that, you know, even then. So I feel he's a good boy, yeah, good father. And then one day he said something like his, uh, his son like, would like to buy a new, new, new engine for his bicycle because the bicycle kaput, nah? but he didn't have money or something. And uh, he, he tell him, I said, you don't give him? He said, oh, he has to wait a little while, you know, maybe. Because uh, uh, winter, taxi... Business is kind of slow, yeah? And of course he has to pay for his apartment, you know, maintenance for his taxi car, and, you know, insurance, all kind of thing that you have to pay, electricity, water, etc., etc., doctor bill, yeah? And college uh, fee and all things. Then, so I say, never mind, now you know what? Um, in my place, there are grass that are tall. Why don't you tell him to come and uh, cut the grass? And I would uh, pay him something so that he, didn't, he doesn't have to always take money from your pocket. How about that? He said, ah, good idea, good idea. <laughs> so he, he brought his son there, yeah? And then, of course, uh, he began to cut some grasses and all that. And then I'm going out with the father, uh, with the taxi. Because the, the grass he cut is on the way out, you know? Between the house and the gate is a long kind of road. Yeah, with grass on it. So it was cut in a, a kind of a, a halfway or something. And uh, we are going out. I'm going out with the father. And then when the father taxi passed by the son, he stopped. I thought he wanted to say goodbye, of course. But he took out a cigarette and gave it to his son, you know, like this. And they're both smiling. And I was shocked. The son is only like, did, did I say to you already? No. Yesterday is not this story. No. The son is only about 15, yeah. So I was so shocked. I couldn't help it, you know. You know my my temper, right? Immediately, I say, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I, I talk to him like I talk to you. <laughs> Normally, I put my best foot forward all the time with outside people. But yes, that day I I couldn't help it. I don't know. It must a bad luck day for him or something. <laughs> But we've been together for a while already, you know, driving, and then I'm always generous with him, yeah? So, so, and he has very much respect for me, because we talk a lot. You know, my broken Spanish didn't help either, but I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. I said, you give him a cigarette? And, and he was kind of very shameful. He said, hey, yeah, he, he, he smokes also. I said, what? And you let him? I was just kind of protective. I feel sorry for the son, you know? I, and then he, he, I said, go now, go, 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 drive. And then he drive outside, and I continue my lecture, of course, in broken, <laughs> in broken Spanish. <laughs> but he understood everything. <laughs> well, at least I understood what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I say, look here. He's only 15. Oh, 14 or 15, yes? He's very tender. His body is not built up well. His bone is not really completely formed yet. And you, not only you don't forbid him to smoke, not only you don't make a good example yourself, you smoke, and then you don't even tell him not to smoke, and then you encourage him to smoke like this. What kind of father are you? And he said, I, I, if I forbid him, he go out and smoke with his friend anyway. I said, no, it's not true. Many fathers smoke, but the daughter and son don't go out and smoke with friends in the school. It's not true, you know that. And you know how many million people die every year because of smoking, don't you? 
Uh, he gave me a very small figure, like 200,000. I said, you joking? <laughs> you go home, look in the internet again. Yeah, well, maybe I was wrong a couple of millions, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, related death, you know? It could be millions, understand, many millions. People don't really do research into it, yeah? And also the second-hand smoke, you know, related. Third-hand smoke, related to it, yes? All kind of things, yeah? Or people also committed suicide because don't have enough money to pay any more to cigarette and depress and all that also. All kind of things, understand me? So I, I couldn't be too far off, you know? I said to him, well, four million, five million people. Maybe I'm a little bit wrong, but not that wrong. Well, even even if I'm wrong, it, it scared him good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to tell a lie. I just thought it's that about that much. I'm, I thought I remember that uh, from uh, in, information somewhere, you know? Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco, 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide. Tobacco use kills one person every six seconds. Smoking-related costs, 193 billion US dollars annually in the United States alone. Depression, light and mild cigarettes, just as harmful. Causes cancer and diseases in animal companions. Harms lung cell DNA that regulates breathing, speeds the aging process. Toxic residues of third-hand smoke heart disease, coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, mouth, liver, breast and colorectal cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidney cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence. Additional harms for exposure to secondhand smoke, 600,000 deaths worldwide each year. Childhood arteriosclerosis, leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden infant death syndrome. More than 80% of the babies who die are exposed to secondhand smoke. Infertility, miscarriages, and premature deliveries. Childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection, cleft lip or palate, hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys, circulatory problems in women, lung damage in children leading to adult emphysema, lung cancer in non smoking restaurant servers, hearing loss across all frequencies, childhood behavioral problems when exposed while in the womb, plus more. For help quitting, please visit the following websites. For more urgent information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Anyway, so he was all quiet and say, I'm sorry, it's, it's none of my business, but he's too young, you know? I feel like you should be more protective of him. Even if you smoke, you should have told him that it's bad and all that. Here I see you even encourage him to smoke because you, uh, you want him to like you. You want him to stay with you. And it's not love, you know? Love is not like giving anything that the, the son or daughter want, but love is to do things good for him and tell him all the good things that he should follow. Yeah? I say go out and learn with the friends and all that stuff, you know? I say no, no, no. If you are a good father, he would have probably listened to you better. Yeah? That's one thing. If you ever said anything to him even, maybe you didn't because you want to... Buddy, buddy with him uh, against his mother, who knows, yeah? Anyway, now it's very bad enough of you that you smoke, number one. And now you even make him smoke. You're very, very irresponsible, father. And you know smoking is not healthy, right? So he know, he know, I know, I know it all. Okay, if you say you love your son so much, like you have told me before, then how come you don't keep yourself healthy? So you can take care of him. He's still very young. Suppose you have cancer, you know, right? I'm sorry, I, everybody knows that. And then maybe you die. Or even if you don't die, but you're sick, you're incapable of driving taxi or doing anything anymore. Who take care of your son? Yeah? Mother already married again. Have other family children. Who takes care of him? And he doesn't, you told me he doesn't want to live with his mother. Well, I, I can understand because she remarried, you see? He has a girlfriend, but she only come and go, you see what I mean? She doesn't live with him. So it's a different story, yeah? And the mother already married and have other children. So if you die or you're sick, who is taking care of your son? Don't you think about that? You're a very irresponsible father. 
I am so sorry if you offended anything, forgive me. But I think because you are a very good taxi driver, I, I think of you like a friend, you know, because sometimes he came and I invite him a coffee or something, I cook a little coffee for him and a little salad or something when we run all day and he didn't have a chance to eat. Or I caught him, you know, before lunch and then we run all afternoon and I know he didn't eat. So when I come home, if I eat something, I cook something and I give him some. I say, you can come to my house as a friend also, huh? And because I think of you as a friend, and a, a friend should tell a friend uh, true things and beneficial things, not, not just a thing that make others just happy and feeling flattered, you know? I, people say kiss butt, you know, in <laughs> English. <laughs> yeah, I don't do this stuff, you know, because I respect you. And I like you as a person, so I tell you this. And if you're mad at me, I understand. But I have to tell you, your son is a very, in a very tender age. At this moment, his body is still developing. You know, his bone is not even, you know, complete, completely structured yet. And all his organ is still very tender. You cannot do this to him. You cannot encourage him to smoke. And smoke together in a small flat like this, an apartment like this. It's really detrimental. You want to kill him? You say you love him, but you're killing him. Don't you, don't you realize you're killing your son by your own example and by encouraging him? You call that love? No, I think you're bribing him so that he loves you, he likes you, but you're killing him. And he, all the while, he said, you're right, you're right. I, I, have to, I have to do something. I said, yes, you quit. That's what you do, <laughs> I said to him. Quit smoking. <laughs> and he said, okay, I will, I will. And I thought he'd just say that. I said, you promise, huh? You say it like that. Next time I see you, you tell me that you're not smoking anymore. He said, yes, yes, I will do it. I said, yeah, if you love your son, you do it. At first I told him, why don't you tell him, uh, like I told you before, uh, you had to tell him not to smoke and all that. I say, and he say, because he, he, he's still smoking, so he cannot your son wouldn't listen to him, that's why. So I say, that's why you quit. You have to quit. First you quit, and then maybe he follow you. I think he would, he will. And even if he doesn't, at least you, you feel good. And you are a good father, yes, and you are still strong and healthy, continue to take care of your son until he can take care of himself, at least. At least this, yeah? And your son listen to you or not, maybe <laughs> we will see, yeah? At least you make a good example. So, okay, fine. I think both of them had enough of me. <laughs> so normally he's supposed to come back and cut more grass for me. Yeah? They didn't show up. Fine, I understand. I also didn't call him either. Next time I call a different taxi driver. Okay, so he doesn't come back, you know? Uh, but before that, I, I knew that I was, I went too far, you know? So anyway, but he still uh, take me to the market, you know? I knew I went a little bit too far, but so I went in there to buy some jacket for the son, you know. It's winter and he, he didn't have much, it's all cold. And, and then I buy something for the son, yeah, some clothes, yeah, and then some for the father also. I give it to them and they were very happy, but still didn't come back to cut grass next day. <laughs> okay, I, I took the hint. I didn't say anything. Uh, but one day, long time afterward, I went out and he called me on the phone and he said, how am I and all that. Uh, but I said, okay, okay, if I need you, I call you, okay, goodbye. Anyway, and then so many months later, we don't hear from each other, of course, I go with another taxi driver, I don't even bother, you know, I forgot all about him already. And one day I went to a small restaurant that they sell a little special thing, vegan, that I like. I haven't found it anywhere else. I don't know anywhere else anyway, so I happened to find it, so I like it. So I asked another taxi driver, by the way, stop there for me to eat that special thing. <laughs> you know, in Spain they call it churros, you know that? Yeah, okay. And then there he was, my ex-taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> He was thinking my ex something. <laughs> okay, my ex taxi driver. Oh, I was feeling a little bit, you know, a little more awkward also, and he was also very awkward. But nevertheless, said, oh, how are you and all that. I want to go in here and have a coffee, you know. Would you like to come in also? And he, of course, very gladly to come in. 
he was waiting for for his turn, yeah? He wasn't having work or anything, so he came in and have a drink. And me and other taxi driver as well, and him. That's a two taxi driver, <laughs> one ex and one, <laughs> and one, how you say, incumber, incumbent? Yeah. So we talk, 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 and then uh, I just asked him, you still smoking? He said, no, I quit since I last saw you. Good news, huh? Yeah, at least, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so yelling, yelling really <laughs> does help, you know? Because before I was very sweet to him and also say something like, uh, smoking is never good, you know, you know that, you know, a lot of people die and uh, it's uh, very bad and it's more expensive now and thing. I always talk sweetly to him. I never care. <laughs> I yelled at him, I scold him and he quit. <laughs> Okay, next time if I see anybody smoking, I just yell. <laughs> Maybe they quit quicker. No, no, don't do that. You know, people don't always listen to sweet talk. I don't know why. So, so, so now, nowadays, I, I like to invite people when I eat something, or I like to give it to people around me, whoever nearby. If I cook something nice, I never really, I, I feel like I would love very much to share it, you know? Even just now, believe it or not, I come in the kitchen and see all things and say, wow, and then I'm thinking immediately of you. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to invite some of them here to share some food, you know? But I thought, oh no, forget it, never mind. But I was thinking immediately like that. It's just automatic, you know? Oh, it's such a complicated world, I'm telling you. <laughs> Even to be nice, you have to think twice. <laughs> so, it's a good idea, huh? Good thinking, huh? I mean, good news, huh? Yes. I hope he continue. And then I was very happy, of course, nah? I hugged him, eh? Yeah, I hugged him, and he was more very happy because he, was, he looked so miserable. I don't know, I never see such a miserable taxi like that. <laughs> oh, he's not unpleasant. He just looked very down, you know, very sad. You know, the whole body feel like that all the time. But after I hugged him, he, he looked like he grow back again. <laughs> and then I went out and buy him a present, you know. Uh, I bought him a little chain with the cross with Jesus on it. I said, every day, you see this? You keep quitting, okay? You promise. And then he said, he promised. <laughs> because sometimes people can quit smoking for many days or many weeks or many months or many years, but they still, like, oh, they come back sometimes because this kind of thing is really evil. Cigarette and drugs, they're really evil. They, they just like, you know, clutching you, you know, very difficult to get rid of. Besides, his son is still smoking, you know, that's making him very tough for him. See what I mean? They live in the same apartment. And even though the son smoke outside in the balcony, but still, every time he pass by, he bring the smoke go out, you know, the cigarette and go out smoke. Imagine how difficult it is for him, and he's still holding tough for many months. So that's for that I really appreciate him very much and I really, uh, I say you're really good, very, very good, very courageous, very strong man. You're a good father now, I'm very proud of you. And I went out and take him out, you know, to, to buy him this uh, present so that every day he can remember and be strong. And I say, tell your son, if he also quit smoking, next time I see him, he will also get a present like that or different one, <laughs> just like that. And then, then say goodbye. Mm. Okay, my nice story, yeah. Smoking bans save lives. Quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake, reduces the risk of strokes by more than half. United Kingdom's ban on smoking in public places reduces passive smoke effects, which are linked to loss of life for more than 11,000 people every year. In the U.S., the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration said that sales of tobacco to underage youth have reached all-time lows in all 50 states. The number of young smokers aged 18 to 29 has fallen by 30% in Victoria, Australia, thanks to smoking bans in pubs and clubs. Smoking rates in Japan have been declining since 1996. Smoking bans mean decreases in acute coronary syndrome, 
A study in Mississippi, USA found that heart attacks were reduced by 27% three years after indoor smoking was banned, with similar bans in 11 other worldwide locations also showing a reduction in both heart attacks and heart disease. Rome, Italy experienced an 11.2% decrease in acute coronary events in the first year after a smoking ban in public places went into effect. Israeli researchers report that for people who are able to stop smoking, the increased risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban which translates into healthcare savings of 56 million US dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. A US medical study finds that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, including lowered blood pressure and reduced heart attack risk within 24 hours. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions, such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from the Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer, as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking. Plus more. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer. Pamiarsi saniwangi yang titiang Sukse maning manah santukan sampun nyarengin titiang Ring acara nenten jesuung yene ngerage Kande kaleh saking nam kande Ring acara sarang nabe lan pare sisi Saksiang terus Supri Master Television Anto acara sani jantan becik Selantur nyane acara Pilihan saking esai ide Ralph Waldo Emerson Kanda pertama Luhuring Atme Pahan kali saking kali pahan Ring acara Sabda Sabda Wicaksana Dumogi ide sangang widiwaksa Dadoswar penuntun iraga sekayang-kayang May God be your eternal guiding light For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash pmd.